Hello guys, welcome to second video related to job search visa in Austria. In the first video, we have discussed how we can calculate the points uh, related to our profile uh, to apply for job search visa. As I have explained in the first video that the points should be more than 70 or 70 plus uh, to apply for a job search visa in Austria. If you fall in this category, then the second video is for you how you can apply and what documents are required and what is the procedure you have to follow. Before going to uh, going into details, if you haven't calculated your points uh, uh, related to your profile, please go back to my channel and watch the first video. Uh, and I also mentioned the link in the description. Please go to the first video and calculate your points and then uh, come back to this video and check the documents requirements, uh, uh, how you can fulfill the document requirement related to job search visa. So let's go into uh, detail related to documentation and filing a job search visa for Austria. Let's get started. So question number one, where you have to file your job search visa or a job seeking visa for Austria? So the answer for that is that the responsible uh, competent Austrian representation in your country, it could be embassy or a consulate of Austria where you can go and file your job search visa. You can file your job search visa in your home country or a country of residence. The country of residence means the country where you are staying for the purpose of studies or a job more than six months. So for example, if you are in a, another European country and you are staying here for, for uh, studies purpose and now you want to uh, find a job in Austria, then you can go to the Austrian embassy and file a job search visa there. So the embassy or the consulate will collect your documents and they will send it to Austria uh, to your concern. Uh, city or district uh, where you wanna stay and uh, the office rms they will get your documents and they will calculate the points for you and they will check if you your points are meeting the criteria your documents are uh, legalized and uh, authenticate and then they will uh, calculate the points again uh, on their end and check if your points are meeting the criteria of 70 points from 100 points then they will give a green signal to uh, your concern embassy and they will issue you a visa so this is how the process for the uh, job search visa behind the scene is and now we will go in detail uh, at uh, documents level which documents are required and how we can satisfy the AMS requirement uh, for job search visa. So what are the requirements related to documents which documents uh, you need to submit to Austrian Embassy for job search visa. Uh, this section I will divide into five smaller section and the first section I will discuss general documents uh, like passport, birth certificate, um, house contract and such things and then I will go uh, to next step where I will discuss special qualification and skills requirement related to your studies, uh, high paying job uh, certificate uh, and these things and in third session I will discuss about work, work experience which documents uh, or like what type of documents you have to uh, submit to uh, embassy to express your uh, or to present your work experience in your home country and then language skills which uh, certificates or which uh, language certificates or language tests are valid uh, in the field of uh, job search visa and in the last step I will discuss studies in Austria and how you can get these points uh, if you have finished or like some part of your studies from the Austria. Okay, now discuss a little to general documents requirement. You must have a valid uh, travel document like passport. You must have a birth certificate or similar document normally birth certificate uh, which uh, from which the RMS will calculate your age like if you are uh, younger than 35 or 35 years old then you will get 20 words. So 
for this purpose they need a birth certificate and then you have to submit a proof of accommodation it could be a lease contract it could be a sub lease or something of or it could be ownership of a house that the house is on your name or such thing uh, this is also required so that they will classify your visa to a specific domain like if you have a house contract for uh, Salzburg or like Wien, then they will send your documents to related AMS in Wien or Salzburg, depending upon your accommodation address. Uh, the proof of health insurance for the whole period of six months, you also have to submit, and then also you have to submit uh, proof of uh, like bank statement, pay slips, or something related to your finances that you can sponsor yourself uh, when you are staying in Austria. So these are like six documents which you have to submit as a general document requirements uh, for and these documents are required uh, everyone who is applying for job search visa in Austria. Okay, so we'll go to the next step and this step is uh, special qualification and skills requirement uh here we will discuss uh, your um, studies and how you can get maximum points from this section so first one is that if you have completed 16 years of education uh like at the level of the university like if you have a uh, three years of bachelor then you must have one year of master's degree or in combination it should be at least four years of university level studies uh, if you want to qualify for the graduation uh, score and uh, what you have to submit is uh, you have to submit a degree like final degree that you have completed your bachelor's or master or a four year degree from the university and uh, if the degree is not finished yet you can also submit a transcript and a letter from uh, examination office or a registrar office from your, your university uh, that you have completed your uh, degree and uh, like your studies and the degree is on a way uh, like a uh, certificate of completion from the university and the third document uh, is only required for the mint programs like if you have finished your studies in uh, mathematics computer natural science or engineering and technology program then you require a letter from the university that you have completed the degree in the field or else if in a final degree it is uh, written not only that you have completed bachelors of science or bachelors of um, abc it, it must represent like if you have completed uh, electrical engineering then in a final degree it should be written like uh, bachelors of engineering in electrical engineering then these degree this degree certificate is also valid for uh, representing that you have completed a mint program or a mint subject program so these are the like only at the end in conclusion if you have a valid degree then this is more than enough and then comes uh, the section uh, for the annual salary for only for those who are applying for a senior level management program if their salary is higher than 50,000 or 60,000 or 70,000 euros they will get extra points for those purposes they have to submit their Number one, what they can submit is like their uh, salaries of last whole year, like for a whole two years salaries, or they can submit uh, the uh, tax uh, submission certificates or the tax certificates uh, that uh, they have received uh, the higher amount of salaries, so 50,000 plus in euros. like. And also you have to like mention in a separate letter that in your currency if, if the salary is something else in, in rupees or in, in dirham then you have to like also uh, submit an extra document that uh, the according to this rate uh, the salary is in a range of 60,000 or 70,000 euros and next step is like uh, if you have done some research work uh, or research activities then what can be the proof the proof should be like uh, scientific publications or a certificate issued by the university or a research group or an R&D department from a company if you are working in a company that you have worked there as a R&D 
uh, in the field of R and D. Yeah, and then uh, if there is any patent on the name of you or a company and you was and you were involved uh, in that uh, research work, uh, the certificate of uh, like a copy of the certificate is also uh, considered as a important document on that process. And next is that uh, if you have received any scholarships or any award or a prize, if you have won like price related to studies or extra curriculum activities or something like that you also have to submit that document as a part of your job search visa application yeah and then comes a very important thing is work experience every one year you worked not in austria like uh, rather than austria in other countries the whole uh, europe or uh, all over the world you will get two points uh, and if you are working in Austria or you have worked in Austria for six months, you will get a 10 points. So this is a huge difference in working in Austria and working in elsewhere in the world. So you have to calculate the points related to your experience and in experience, you will uh, have to submit a letter that you was working from this day to this day at this position in a company and that will be counted um, as our experience it should be on a letterhead from a company so next come the next comes the language skills so for the job search visa in austria two language skills are like uh, like required or they are searching if you can speak english or else if you can speak german both of them uh, contains equal points so for german you must have uh, one of these certificates uh, and the level of the German should be A2. A2 is approximately like uh, 400 teaching hours. Uh, after like taking 400 teaching hours, you can pass the A2 exam. And for English language skills, you must have uh, a IELTS, TOEFL or such. I think that, uh, it's not very hard to get an IELTS or TOEFL exam with only 4.5 or 5 uh, score. Like, it's very easy to get a two level certification for english so yeah these are the documents you have to submit for your job search visa and lastly for studies in austria you have to show to the embassy that you have completed a semester or a year of uh, some part of your studies in austria it could be like you have taken a whole semester in austria or you are uh, on exchange program and taken some subject from an Austrian university or you have taken some online courses or online credit hours from the Austrian university so you have to submit a letter from the university that you have completed uh, these subjects are like one semester in Austria or you can submit a uh, submit a transcript uh, that you have completed uh, some subjects from the Austrian university so they will accept uh, that document and they will give you five points uh, if you have completed a semester and a whole, for whole degree they will uh, issue you 10 points yeah so these are the documents which are required to submit uh, requ uh, for the Austrian job search visa